where Dane Tessie is currently playing. Today I had a chance to sit down with Danny Gardner, who is one of the stars of the show. Enjoy the video! Danny, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, I'm glad to be here. Oh, um, you're making your Broadway debut in Dane Tessie. How does it feel to be in a show, that show, and what's the show about? Yeah. It feels, uh, it feels amazing. Um, I am so excited to be a part of the show um, and to be making my brother debut with this type of role where I get to sing, dance, and, and act and be funny and, um, and in, uh, really be one of the six performers in the, in yeah. the show is amazing and so unique. And I'm so, so excited that uh, Randy and the producers trusted me with the, with the show. Yeah. Okay, it is really good. So you started dance, tap dancing at a young age. When did you start yes. singing and, and acting? Um, I probably started around middle school. Um, yeah, I started, uh, you know, I did, the first show that I did was at a uh, high school. I was in Maine, and I was, um, I always mix up, I think it's Patrick. Patrick at the very end, he's, he's Auntie Mame's like, great uh, nephew. Uh -huh. You know, he, I come in, I say one line, and I have a turban on, and I did that uh, when I was in fifth grade. And so that's when I kind of started getting the acting bug. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I started singing in middle school, taking vocal lessons, and um, uh, yeah, community theater, things like that. Okay. So. What was your first Broadway show, and, what and um, how did that influence you in the theater? My first Broadway show was Damn Yankees, um, which oddly enough, I just found out that John Bolton, who plays the captain in Hennessy, yeah. that was his first Broadway show that he was in. That's so that cool. was like our first, like, I saw him in my first Broadway show. It was awesome to find that out. Um, and I was, I fell in love with the music. I mean, that's very golden age musical theater. And, and the dancing was amazing. And I was, I was just blown away by it. I, I just fell in love with it. Okay, you played a lot of like classical like dancing like from like Hollywood, you know, like with the comedy and the dancing. Yeah. Are you drawn to those characters or those still happen to be those are the ones you just got? Yeah. I think I I think I am drawn to those and I think those are kind of my natural personality and um, yeah, so and I, I love doing it. I love doing that kind of song so and dance. You know. Who would you want to play that's like that? Well, one of my dream roles is uh, Bobby and Crazy for You. That was the second show I saw on Broadway, um, and I've never played it. And I've actually never played Donald or well Cosmo yeah. in uh, Singing in the Rain. That's another one that I oh would I feel love like you do really. I was telling her that the other day. Yeah. I was like, yeah, he's one of the types to do that. Yeah, I would love to play those roles. Um, but uh, uh, another one of my favorite roles is uh, the Baker and Into the Woods. Um, not not any dancing in that, but I just that's one of my favorite shows, and I think there's uh, such a great character development. In the baker. And yeah. To, did you like the movie version that was just out of that? I did. I did. So those are interesting reviews about that. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I thought they did a really interesting job with it, and uh, yeah. Because they I, cut out songs. Because yeah, we yeah, saw yeah, the yeah. off Broadway, and we're like afterwards, and we're like, right. wow, they were missing songs, and then it made a little bit more sense. We felt like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, but I think for whatever they had to do, whatever those cuts, you know, they they, they felt that they had to make. I I think it was good for the film. Yeah. You've been in many shows, so how does it feel to finally be on Broadway? And it's, like is it different from acting like on a Broadway stage than a regular? Like It's a it's a dream come true. Um, it really is. Like I've um, I've been wanting to to be on Broadway for ever since I was a little boy in Reading PA and uh, it's it's really amazing. There, there's a specific show. Uh, there's a specific time in the show every night yeah. where I get to kind of breathe that in, and I'm like, I'm on Broadway, uh -huh. and it's during the title song, Dames at Sea. Yeah. And I don't know why, but that's just become my like, oh my gosh, it's happening. Um, but you know, it's not. It's not too different. I thought for some reason when I started um, doing it, uh, uh, when I was thinking about getting into tech technical rehearsals and things, I was wondering how it was going to be different and things. And honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't that different because I've done, you know, shows all over and right. it was just kind of, you go in, you do your show, there's a lot more support in it, you know, right. there's a PR team, there's a marketing team, there's, you know, more money behind it and everything yeah. and hopefully it'll run for forever, you know, whereas yeah. regional gigs, you have a, an end date. But, um... But beyond that, everybody in the cast also has been so welcoming to me. Right. 
and uh, generous with... You got the gypsy robe thing. Yeah. That was, I like, mean, fun. Oh, my gosh. It was it was just wonderful. They've been so enthusiastic about this being my brother debut. So it's been, it's been really wonderful. That's good. Mm. Do you feel the audience helps with your energy and your performance? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the audience for this show has been so enthusiastic. Um, and it's so easy to do the show because it's a pretty physically demanding show. We have a lot of dance, a lot of singing after we dance. And, right. you know, in the movies, it would cut and then you'd get to, you know, uh, breathe and you wouldn't seem winded. But uh, the audience makes it so easy to, right. um, to just go out there and get on the, the train and, and do it. Yeah, it's very funny that you have the audience laughing like from the beginning. So. Yeah, yeah, luckily. And I think the beginning of the show is really smart and uh, the, the credits sets up the show yeah. really well. I think that was a stroke of genius, honestly, because you know where you are right away. You know? Right. Okay. You've played many roles so far. What's your favorite that you played? I think, I mean, besides Lucky, because yeah. I, honestly, I'm having a blast. I think I got to play Chuck in Promises, Promises. That's um, cool. Which was so much fun. He's he's such a nice guy, and he's trying so hard, and it's uh, it's great. He's really uh, he's one of my favorite characters to play. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you have any like pre-show rituals or superstitions? Uh, not so much superstitions, but I get to the show um, an hour before at least, okay. uh, and then an hour I start warming up. I have specific warm ups that I do, and, and then I run. Um, I used to run like a whole scene my whole first scene but I don't do that anymore I only run like two lines in it okay. and then um, I always practice uh, you know the the piano um, tapping on the piano I always practice that okay. that's cool yeah. oh, what is your funniest or biggest mess up that you had on stage <laughs> it doesn't have to be in the city in general well when I I got to do Lady Be Good earlier this year okay. at the Encores City Center and <laughs> I, it was opening night, and all the critics were out there, all of New York, you know. And luckily, we had um, our books with us during the, the book scenes. But when we would sing, they'd take the books away. And it's all choreographed for them taking it away. But in my very last book scene, I come out and I forget my line. Aww. And I look at the audience, all of New York, and I say, hang on just a second. Mm -hmm. And I start flipping through the book, looking for the page where I forgot the line. Mm -hmm. And luckily, Rob Fisher is behind me yeah. with the orchestra, mm -hmm. everybody on stage, and he yells the line to me. Mm -hmm. And then I look at the audience, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I knew it was one of the three of the girls in the show." Like, <laughs> but it was it was terrifying for that split second. I was like, "I don't know what I'm doing." And then it just kind of, you have your book in your hand, so just look at it. Um, That's cool that you have them sometimes. Yes, like, yeah. I was just watching a clip from Annie Get Your Gun that our necrologist yeah. did, and they had the books the whole time, and I was like, "That's interesting." Yeah, yeah. It's very much uh, encores does that that conceit, and it's it's nice, especially for that when I forgot my line. That was nice, but it was neat because then I came off stage, I sang a song, I came off stage, and Tommy Tune was in it, mm -hmm. and Tommy stopped me and said, "That was amazing. <laughs> you did exactly what you had to do, and it helped." He uh, he said, "I love those happy." accidents because it reminds the audience that this is live and it's right. not you know that's true not film <laughs> uh, you um we saw a lot of your videos that you choreographed and stuff yeah would you ever want to choreograph your own show yeah i'm starting to get into choreography more often um and i uh, actually just last night i performed with my fiance at bcb i don't know if you know what that is it's a choreographer showcase in the meatpacking di district and uh that's cool it was yeah it was really uh, amazing. It was an amazing experience. So I'm trying to uh, choreograph a little more. I don't want to stop performing. I love performing. I want to okay. keep going. You should continue. But, thank you. Yeah. But uh, I would love to, on the side, uh, or when I'm not performing, also choreograph. Okay. What's it like working with Randy Skinner? It's amazing. He's, as a choreographer, yeah. he's so specific, and he can do all of his steps. So if he gives you something and he wants more out of it, he gets up and shows you, this is how you do it. And so, um, it's basically, I think, trying to honor the work that he can still do, you know. And so, but then as a director also, he's very giving. You know, I had ideas, I came in with a, a boatload of ideas. Excuse the pun. Yeah, they'll say it's so unintended, <laughs> right? <laughs> but, uh, but I... Uh, I, you know, I had lots of ideas, and, and Randy said, yeah, his, his response was always, yeah, try it out. 
And he was always there when it didn't work and to say, okay, it didn't work, let's try something else. And he was always there to say, if it did work, like, okay, great, let's do that. So he was just so generous and, and nice throughout the whole process. And That's awesome. really, he was kind of our biggest fan, all of the performers. He was always there, ready to to um, pick us up if we were down. That's and, good. Uh, cheer us on. Yeah. That's very good. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a quick question, okay. so you answer fast. Okay. okay favorite book? Uh, Middlesex. Most played song on your iPad? Uh, 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 Don't Let Me Fall Behind by Jukebox the Ghost. Favorite website? Playbill. Best, best day activity? What's that? Best day off activity? <laughs> Watching Netflix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, favorite guilty food pleasure? Pizza. Hidden court for talent? <laughs> A single hand clap. What? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> My cast hates it when I do that. They're like, oh, don't do that. I think it's cool. All-time favorite show? Breaking Bad. Person you would most likely work with? Sutton Foster. Okay, what's your favorite thing about New York City? The people. Favorite dance move? Uh, <laughs> a shiggy bop. Okay. Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> a, I do it in the show. It's a, it's a tap move. Oh, cool. Twitter or Instagram? Oh, both, but Instagram. Okay. Singing or dancing? Dancing. Live theater or film? Live theater. Ballet or street dancing? Mm, ballet. Okay. Wow. I asked you all my questions. Great. Right. Do you want to play Heads Up? Sure. Okay, um, uh, Zibanya, you know, Fox Lion King. 